surface it's <laughs> tugboats and bellboys and, and bridges. But these characters, for everybody involved, are, are children. The, the stories are about children. These tugs are, are like kids to us. They're like three and four year old children who go through these trials and tribulations. And uh, so we don't, we don't think about uh, how do you write about a boat, you know. It's, it's, well, Theodore is this particular personality and he just happens to be a child who has bumpers. Hank is such an enthusiastic character that even his straight face is with a smile. I mean, he pulls like a horse. Uh, I don't know if that's a compliment for her lady or not, but she does. Queen Stephanie is the largest ship we have. I think she measures almost 10 feet. So she's uh, quite a jewel when she's in the water. By now, the iceberg was so close to Owen the oil rig could feel the cold air blasting off it. Emily and George revved their powerful engines. Welcome to the Big Harbor. This is where some of our local giants in the film industry spend months at a time bringing to life the friendships and adventures of a stout-hearted tugboat, one story at a time. And we regard these, uh, these episodes as small movies. They have beginnings, middle and ends, just like the movies uh, you go to in a theater. Uh, they have the same ups and downs. Um, we, uh, you know, we are very meticulous about the stories. Uh, they're airtight by the time we feel they're ready to be shot. Owen, called Theodore, have you seen anything up there? All's quiet, bellowed the ultra loud rig. Quiet as a clam's cousin. You mean you haven't seen any icebergs? Each of our stories involves detailed planning, design, and construction not just building models, but building characters that can feel and express emotion. The style that we have here, I think, is much more imaginative because the, the characters, for instance, the, the little faces there, we have a combination of something like 30 or 40 expressions, if we wanted to, on every single character. Just with, because it has different eye openings, different eyebrows, different mouth configurations, and when you put that, you know, when you factor all those into one, it's quite a lot. Every one of our 40 characters has been meticulously crafted by hand. Each with an individual personality. One of the major challenges we faced in the beginning was controlling the movement of the boats. The answer was a complex radio control system directs not only the tugboat's movement, but also manipulates their eyes and individual features. Agile as they are, living on a large tank of water called for some custom problem solving. If there were any waves in the pool, they would bob like a cork, because they're only small boats. Now they work like a hand cart. They ride on the main wheels on the bottom of the pool, the rear wheel is free, it's cleared, so it's free to swing. It's like a hand cart. And the rear wheel is only there to uh, prevent accidental swamping, so when we come down on it, that she doesn't go on, on the water. The big harbor itself is also very adaptable. It's made up from almost 250 three-dimensional structures. Structures that can be moved in and out according to the demands of each story. No detail is too small. They should line up so they're all lined up and staggered off on Halifax side. Every finished program is a careful collection of two and three second shots. 2113, please, Doug. Shooting typically lasts three days for each 12-minute story. One of the special elements in our production process is this camera system. It's one of only two of its kind in the world. It's very special in as much as it gets down to what I call children's level. We're shooting everything down as though they're down there with little toys and they're down at that level. But it's also what I call prom proper camera level. That's good there. 
The custom-built lens has feather-sensitive controls, allowing focus from infinity down to one inch. And any single shot may require the total concentration of up to 10 people at a time. Okay, we're recording. And not all shots work on the first take. I had the crew here very sort of tense because I did one shot 20 times. And it was a shot of Theodore coming around because his friend Hank had been very distraught about something that happened to him and gone off and hidden himself somewhere. And eventually Theodore finds him. And he comes around the rock. Now these are little tugboats and they can't move. They can't bend. They can't turn their heads. They have to face this like that. And he came around the rock, and he had to peer around the rock to see if his friend was all right. And it's one of those, like, Hank. Now, he can't do that, but it had to be that. And she brought the little boat around, Linda brought the boat around, and he said, you know, he just goes around, he says, Hank. And I said, no, it's got to be, and it's got to have that little look. And so he's sympathetic. And I tell you, we see it now, and everybody knows what we're talking about. It just works. He bends around that rock. You know, he's looking around to make sure that Hank's okay. And it's wonderful. Hank? Theodore. I, I, I'm not late for the race. Am I? Hank asked. Oh, no. Our scripts often call for a variety of special effects. Sometimes, we even seem to go underwater. Like all of our production photography, these underwater scenes are shot without any sound. These are added later, when our audio editors start building up a complete sound environment. Then, our composer helps intensify the mood with an original music score created for each episode. Finally, the Harbor Master's voice is mixed in and the story is complete. Harem scarem, shock 'em, freak 'em. We're the rhyming rocks of Ecom Seekum. Boo! added the third rock. And that's when Pugwash knew. She had dived straight into the terrible Ecom Seekum Circle, where ships sometimes got lost forever. Theodore Tugboat represents the talents of more than 60 people combined as one. Each person adding their own specialty, each caring enough to want to do it right. Their work has now been seen on television in over 70 countries. Our viewers contact us by the thousands. On the World Wide Web, or on the phone. By mail, by postcard, fax, and email. They ask questions, they say hi. But mostly, they tell us how much fun they have in the Big Harbor. A magical place where a tugboat can become your special friend. We have children that come here and they talk to Theodore, they talk to Hank. The little girls that come and they blow kisses to Hank. He's alive. It's amazing. 